Good morning, and welcome to Good Day Pittsburgh. My name is Adam Lynch. I'm normally not here, but this lady normally is. She's Eleanor Shano, but you knew that all along. And you know, as a matter of fact, and you may not know, she may not be here very long either. <laughs> this is a wonderful occasion to be with you, and it's also a sad occasion. But think of all the good sides, all the positive positions to take, as well as the negative, and we'll go on from there. With a little help from my friends, I think I'll be able to say goodbye this morning. And now, what comes next on this format? The opening. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Good Day Pittsburgh with Eleanor Shana White and Tom Peterson with news. Good morning, everyone. This is Friday, October 26th, 1979. It's a day I'm going to remember for a long time. Remember it in a bittersweet kind of way. I am going to have a little help from my friends in just a couple of minutes, but right now I'm going to say, I guess, farewell to a dear friend who's ready with a mid-morning news update. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Allegheny. Good morning, everyone. Allegheny County Coroner Jack Lynch will disclose the results of his long-awaited audit of private work done at the Allegheny County Morgue in a news conference later on this morning. The audit is expected to reveal that Coroner Dr. Cyril Wecht owes the county taxpayers considerable amounts of money for his use of the morgue for private and outside work. It will also show that former coroners Dr. William Hunt and Ralph Stalter also owe the county money. Dr. Hunt, who was running for county commissioner, changed his mind last night in a radio news talk show and said he did now remember using that special education fund when he was Allegheny County Coroner. A Post-Gazette television poll indicates Dr. Wecht and incumbent Bob Pierce are close for the third county commissioner's spot in the upcoming November 6th general election. The poll has Forster getting the top spot and Dr. Hunt winning also. It puts Pierce at 39 percent, Wecht at 38 percent in that tally. That setup, if it would carry out and uh, uh, come through in the election and the voting, it could wrest control from the Democrats for the first time since the mid-1930s. Teachers in the Chartiers Houston School District are going back to the classroom this morning under threat of fines after having been held in contempt of court. The teachers agreed last night to go back to their jobs, but the decision was far from being unanimous. Classes in the district will start two hours late this morning. The last teacher strike here in Allegheny County is coming to an end. Teachers in the West Jefferson Hills School District have ratified a new contract, and the school board is expected to take similar action on Monday night. This is a big day in the life of one of Pittsburgh broadcaster, our own Eleanor Shano White. Eleanor winds up her career in local broadcasting during this half hour, and I know she leaves with mixed feelings, but with confidence she leaves literally thousands of friends behind, and I am privileged to be called one of her good friends. Last week, Ellie said to me in the newsroom that she was a little bit nervous about having to go to a new television market after having spent her whole career right here in Pittsburgh. Eleanor Shano paved the way for many women in Pittsburgh television. Newswatch reporter Andrea Wood was just one of the many Pittsburghers who grew up, or rather who watched Eleanor Shano over the years. 25 years ago, KDKA-TV was WDTV, and Eleanor Shano was a fashion model and a student at Duquesne University. In short order, Eleanor made her debut during the early days of Pittsburgh television on a show called Ghost to Ghost with Bill Burns. In 1958, Ellie moved to WTAE-TV, where she became the city's first television weather person and a commercial spokeswoman. Ever wish you could control the weather, keep it fresh, clean, mild, all year round? Well, you can, if you live in a total electric home. Because no matter what the weather is outdoors, indoors the temperature is always mild and pleasant, just the way you want it. While at Channel 4, Eleanor also appeared on Channel 11's old K Calls for Cash program with Kay Newman, in a syndicated feature called Gateway to Glamour. Women throughout America watched Ellie's tips, and many looked to her as an example of a working mother who could combine a glamorous career. There's a great deal being written these days about preventative medicine. This is the idea of taking care of your body before any serious ailment occurs. And I think the same approach can be applied to beauty. Take care before the particular problem exists. If you're between the ages of 18 and 25, you may feel that this program does not interest you at all because we're going to be talking about a double chin, a sagging jawline. 
As television started to come of age, Pittsburghers watched Eleanor Shano become a very prominent woman. At Channel 4, she achieved the distinction of becoming the city's first woman television news reporter. And in the mid-60s, Eleanor was on the scene to report events that would later be called the start of the tumultuous war years. About 250 students gathered peacefully on the lawn in front of the Cathedral of Learning for an outdoor rally sponsored by the University of Pittsburgh chapter of SDS. The main speaker was Rennie Davis, a founder of SDS and one of eight persons indicted by the federal government on charges growing out of demonstrations at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago last August. Well, Strom Thurmond was the uh, man who wrote the bill that will essentially outlaw uh, speech that uh, talks about social change in America. Uh, I'm not being charged with any act, any criminal act. Uh, no one is saying that I threw a, bro a brick or, or uh, uh, hit anybody or committed any uh, illegal act. What they're saying is that it was my intention to urge people to come to Democratic Convention and to have a demonstration against the war. I think that the uh, problem though is to uh, is to focus on the, the young people and the black people in this country that are trying to get together to stop this violence. And I think it's tragic that uh, more and more policemen now are being used against uh, American citizens to suppress their right to assemble and to demonstrate. We see it in Berkeley, we see it in Columbia, we see it in Chicago. And uh, I think that uh, it's uh, very important that people speak out against uh, the use, the increasing use of official violence, whether it's uh, in the United States or in Vietnam. Mr. Davis told the group, quote, our defense is to be on the offense, and he invited the students to join the conspiracy. His trial is set for September 24th in Chicago's federal court. This is Eleanor Shano reporting for Channel 4 News. By the late 60s, more and more women were cropping up on local television newscasts and in more prominent roles. In 1969, Eleanor joined WIIC-TV, where she received an assignment that helped hundreds and hundreds of Pittsburghers. Tonight, not one, but two follow-ups to report, and the folks down at City Hall really deserve a big round of applause. Once again, they came through, responded immediately to a personal request from Action Line. Now, both complaints came from the same street in the West End. It was about the middle of July that the folks began screaming about this eyesore at 38 Wabash Avenue, a building abandoned for a long time, had nearby merchants and homeowners frantic was a potential tinderbox wide open, used almost every night as a haven for precocious youngsters and derelicts. Well, we notified the city's building inspector's office. They ran a check, told us the owner had been notified last January, given 30 days to fix up or tear down. Well, since nothing was done, the city went out, they condemned the building, boarded it up, and at least it's some progress. Now that folks can at least sleep these nights. At Channel 11, Eleanor later became Pittsburgh's first primetime news woman anchor person. And at noon, Ellie and Adam Lynch teamed up for the Noonday Report, while on Sunday night, Eleanor's News Watch kept us posted on the latest events. The FBI has confirmed reports that the search for Patty Hearst is once again centered in the San Francisco Bay Area. But another report says that fingerprints belonging to William Harris, who along with his wife Emily is believed with Miss Hearst, well, they were found in a New York apartment once occupied by Jack Scott, said to be a friend of the fugitives. Well, Scott is also missing now. Here's more on that story. Today, many Pittsburghers think of Eleanor Shano as an institution. She is the only woman to ever have appeared on all three network affiliates in the city, as well as WPGH-TV. Having grown up watching Eleanor and being inspired by her, and then having the chance to work with her, I know how much Pittsburghers will miss her professionalism and her friendship, and how much we wish her well. And Eleanor, let me add my best wishes for every continued success in your new endeavor in Florida. We'll miss you very much here at Channel 53, and I'm sure that all of Pittsburgh will, and I'll throw it back to you for the very last time. Yay. Thank you so much, Tom, <laughs> and thank you, Andrea. Andrea dug into the archives oh and goodness. proved the fact that I suppose I have earned the dubious distinction of working on every commercial television station in the city of Pittsburgh. I suppose my happiest years, if I had to single out happiest years, were those spent at Channel 11. And for that reason, I have two of my very dearest friends in the business with me this morning to hold my hand and to help me get through this bittersweet moment. Don Riggs, Adam Lynch. 
It was a good, oh, good yeah. time. We sure. had a lot of fun. It wasn't <laughs> always hard work, uh, although it was, of course. But some of the behind-the-scenes moments and some of the <laughs> very special memories, some of the cuckoo stuff that went on, I'll never forget and nope. enjoy for as long as I can think back. And the interesting thing that uh, occurred to me this morning, in our business as, as news reporters, we record milestones, and yet when it comes to recording our own, we're, we're totally at a loss. Uh, Adam, we, we were just talking just a few minutes ago about um, when you say the behind the scenes. Uh, the, the, the moments we have shared, many of them have been happy, some of them have been tragic. We've, we've leaned on each other. We've had phone calls that uh, um, one of the children broke a leg yeah. Uh, yeah. and yeah. you have 30 seconds to get on the air. And that, that's when it's been so important to have, you know, friends to say, hey, Adam, what do oh, I, give what her do, I something, do? Adam, now, come on. What I have oh, here in the mystery package, in as much as you've said the magic words called goodbye, and when I get it from the plastic, is this absolutely gorgeous corsage. And I never had a great deal of experience in pinning corsages. Oh, no. You get a drum you really nice, but I think I think in broadcasting you pin them on the side opposite the microphone. Oh. <laughs> and you pin them the way the flowers grow, Adam. Now I don't know, Don. You, do you realize that Wait, this is I'm the, doing this. Oh, okay. This is the first time I've had a corsage pinned on me since my senior prom in high school. Will you come Ten to the dance ago. with me tonight? An amazing. Just amazing. Oh, that's pretty, thank dear. You, thank you. <laughs> ah, no, nice. Who pinned it on? It looks very professional. Now oh. it came off already. <laughs> well, that's oh, all my on. resident green thumb expert, and after all of that marvelous advice, I have to leave my plants behind, and I've decided, yeah. John DeSantis, that you are going to babysit my oh, plants my. when I go. I get to babysit all of them. All of them. Well, no, half that's of them. Half of them are dead. <laughs> half of them There's are dead. There's one you're not allowed to leave behind, Eleanor. And that is that one. Oh, is oh, it? Oh, that is a great garden. Beautiful. That's to remind you where you came from. Well, I know Isn't where nice? I came <laughs> from, and John, it's so special to have you stop by because John happens to be from the Green Tree Florist, and uh, I was that little girl that grew up in Green Tree, and where the Green Tree Florist is now is where we used to have a little dairy store yeah. where I used to go with my nickel that my daddy gave <laughs> me after to school to buy. That's right, you to buy my ice cream kid. cone. I think we're going to take a little break, and hopefully we can continue this. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, yeah let's. I don't think that's a little unfair to dissolve it. from a photograph. In your of case, 20 it is not ago. unfair, my dear. No, because it looks the same here. Your total charm This is my gift to you. It's called suntan lotion. Oh, Don <laughs> Adam, Riggs. Tell good. me the truth. I don't think the snakes in Florida are going to be a problem. No, the snakes won't, but oh, those big bugs. Well, the, I forgot oh, about them. Yes, they're but now the alligators are bad. not bad. With a little help from my friends, I told you I, I could do it. I could do it. Uh, Suntan lotion and <laughs> Well, if she doesn't spend time on the beach, I'll make you a watch. That's for sure. Wish we were going with you. Dog God. We're all jealous. Hey, couldn't, couldn't we do a, a three-person uh, yeah. something or other down there? Did that's, this come from Florida? That's exactly what I had in mind. I don't know. Well, why don't you open the take card? A look it's your day. Ah. Uh, Here. Oh. No, I thought that. that was for my birthday. No. Adam. Happy birthday to Adam yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. 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 Best wishes. Thank you. Thirty-nine. Mm -hmm. From Amazing. everyone at TV Fifty Three. Ain't that nice? Thank you, pretty. everyone at TV Fifty Three, to this this marvelous crew, to my directors. Uh, to, to do everyone, uh, special thanks to Andrea Wood again, because Andrea, even though our, our association has been short-lived, it has been a beautiful one, and it's one I'm, I'm really going to miss. She is a brilliant young journalist. She is indeed. Uh, Andrea is unfortunately going to be leaving Pittsburgh soon. <laughs> We're probably going to have another farewell party after I leave <laughs> next I come back Friday. to that one, too. That's I right. did a program with her, you know, when you were on vacation, and it was a great show. Great show. You all talked about television news and talked all of the about changes. You behind your back is what we did. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you were gone. <laughs> all of the changes. You know, uh, so many changes have taken place. And mm -hmm. I guess if we accumulated the years, how many would it be? How many years have you been in broadcasting, Don? Jonathan, 104, wasn't it? Jonathan Winters and I were the original annou <coughs> announcers in Channel 10 in Columbus in 1949. Adam, how many years? I was born shortly after that. 
And, uh, <laughs> Everybody believes that. And, Stand on and, your head. And started in broadcasting the next year as, <laughs> as a one-year-old baby. <laughs> now, Adam, you know, you you used to tell me, uh, actually, you are a, a product of a man whose dream came true because when Adam was six, he used to talk That's into, right. his mother even told me yeah, this. Yeah, his mom too. He used to talk into the waste paper basket in his bedroom and say, good evening, everyone. I'm John Cameron Swayze. Now, now bear in mind, I didn't bend over to do this. <laughs> you know, you had it up on the I table. had it up on a stand. Yeah. And if you put it in close enough, mm -hmm. you could get some reverberation. <laughs> Good evening, I would say. I was 10. Good evening. That's about the way it came out. It's, you know, how, it's, how did you get in this silly business? Model. I, I fell into the business, and, and so many times, uh, you know, young women will, will ask just that question. Yeah. And it's changed. The business has changed so, so dramatically. Uh, back in those days, when television was brand new in this city, there was no such thing as television talent. So uh, the television station, WDTV, the one, and, and as I think everybody knows, this market is still a phenomenon because we had one television station for 80 years. years. years and it monopolized the, the market. And for men, they went to the radio stations. They found Bill Burns up in KQV, right. and uh, golly, I guess uh, some of the other names. Uh, the uh, uh, yes, and, and I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Well, it sounds he was selling uh, lumber or something, wasn't he? Yeah. No, he was already in radio. But, but yeah. the radio people did, in fact, the, the male radio people drifted there into were no there were women. No, but there were no women. And I was an undergraduate in, in college and uh, modeling, and I was literally pulled in off the street and didn't know a thing about television. Hey, honey, would you like to be in show business? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, there was a lot of that going around, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always has been, still is. Yeah. But uh, the business has grown. It is now so sophisticated. It is, uh, I, I really uh, feel somewhat... Uh, well, I won't say I feel sorry, but it's it's much more difficult. Well, the for technological a advances alone That's have been uh, we've we've leaped uh, quantum light years in just a very few years, and it has been difficult to catch up. And a lot of young people who are joining the business now never knew how primitive it really was mm -hmm. back then. I, hey, I want to see a picture of Eleanor Shano, a lovely glamour shot. Yeah, take take that Eleanor nice Shano, shot just like she is today, taking what? That's a live shot, folks. The picture's what? over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't that beautiful? Picture, uh, golly, what was what, that, you 20, well, that's Gateway to Glamour, which we 20, did in 1961. You just got a frantic cue to wind 1961, up. 1961, and uh, we're going to pause briefly, and we're going to be right back. I surrounded myself this morning with probably two of the most talented people I've ever known in, in this business. Don Riggs, you have to be the most versatile of all television. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Uh, unfortunately, I think people have only seen just the tip of the iceberg. This is probably one of the best producers, one of the best editors, one of the best. He photographs his own film. And before he, the days of ultra And builds his own airplanes in the basement. Before and then can't really get them out. Before they began to they allowed people to demonstrate the, that yes. versatility. And now, uh, if you are one thing, you are kind yeah, of you, kept yeah, at that fit, one fit thing. And, and, and you don't get the chance to do that kind of diversification any longer. That's a, a shame. A man who has been, what, a newsman, a weatherman. A, a, is there any kind of show you haven't done, Don? Yes. Sports. Me too. Isn't that funny? It's the only thing I have, have never done. Have you ever done, done sports? The only two never. things I have never done are a sports and romper room. <laughs> they never asked me about romper so, room. Well, I was a good doobie, and it just, I, it just never well, caught on. Well, you've always on. been a good doobie. And be all right. Well, uh, they've never trusted me around not. young children. That's why they probably didn't want me. Adam Lynch, you are perhaps the best journalist I have yeah, ever had the pleasure of Yeah, who takes his work with. seriously. Well, when Adam and I... Is Eleanor Shano here? Eleanor Shano? No, we oh. don't have Ellen. Yes, I'm Eleanor Shano. May Horse. I help you? Horse feathers. It's I have a telegram for you. A telegram? Oh, oh, oh I love this guy. Uh oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh he's I've got a tape recorder. Oh, yeah, he's beautiful. <coughs> no. <coughs> hey there, Eleanor Shano. Before you go, we salute time in Pittsburgh as you do your last show. It all started in college by modeling. Then as first city person, t'was the weather you did bring. Then the first woman reporter 
then first primetime one woman anchor <laughs> yes. in Pittsburgh. Now on TV, 25 years, a role model to us so dear. Oh, we all will miss you <laughs> in uh, Palm Beach where you're moving. We wish the best for you, Eleanor Shano. We wish lots of happiness. Yeah. 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 Right. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for Thank coming you. here now. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, I, I, hey. Um. Can we get that open now? Sure. After the show. We'll well, thank you very much. <laughs> this thank is you, Mr. Ron. Uh, oh, you didn't get that? Oh, I see. He recorded it. He had the tape recorder. How did those so things happen? So he could record it. Where does he come Horse from? Horse Feathers Singing Telegram. Horse Feathers Singing Telegram. Oh, that's yeah. a great idea. Adam, I wonder if I get a job doing you that. You are probably the best I know at, at I'll get that, that open, baby. I'll get that too. open right up. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was I was saying to you that that you are the best journalist I've ever worked with. Well, that's a gross my exaggeration, memory, but no, I'll accept it's, it. No, it's not gross, and it's not an exaggeration. I, my fondest memories of Channel 11 were the days when we did co-anchor the new news, and it was during the Watergate hearings, and uh, we would sit by the hours waiting for them to break. And oh, we both, remember we that. We both got pneumonia because we had to sit in the studio with the air conditioning blasting down over our shoulders. Not knowing whether we were going to get on at all, or if we were going to have a five-minute show, or a 15-minute show or a half-an-hour show, and trying to adjust the script accordingly, of course. And the beautiful days back then, were that the anchor talent, were, we were allowed to write. Do you remember the first uh -huh. segment, all right? Yeah. And Adam and I used to actually argue about a lead story, oh, which made sure it very did. healthy. Sure. It made it very healthy. And guess who always won? You. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not, because I did not have the deep, resident tones that said, oh, as Adam would say, I she am said. right. That's she a, used beguiling, I guess. She was beguiling. She beguiled you out of more lead stories than anybody you ever worked with. And in addition to having fun over the years in the business, I can't end this program without telling you how grateful I am for the magnificent social parties, fun things that we did, and places that we went uh, in a company with other people, husbands <laughs> and wives. Husbands and wives and children and we things like that. Yes. Yes. No, I think a lot of people wonder whether, whether we do have, you know, friendships off camera and they are very deep and uh, we're going to be right back. I don't know whether other people have as much fun listening to us share great memories as we have in sharing them. But this has been an absolutely magnificent, fun piece of television. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello, your cable's caught. Your cable's uh, caught, but I you're think all it right. Is. Don't go, don't oh, pull. I'll come over this way. Go, go, come this way. Go over there and see if you can I will, uh, <laughs> sit beside There is, there is nothing like live friend. television, is there? Oh, I nothing love. like live I television. Love I love live television. The presence of mine was asked to come up with an appropriate gift for you as a farewell. So we contacted Robert Hall at the Goldsmith in Glenshaw. And on behalf of all your friends in the Pittsburgh area, I'd like to present you with this golden triangle pin Ooh. as a token of all your hours in the Pittsburgh area. Thank you so much. And Presence of Mine is a marvelous company. We talked about it last week, where they do your shopping for you. Little yeah. did I know. That's what I've needed all these years. Oh. We just hope Palm Springs now, appreciates Eleanor, you. you got to hold the thing oh, for a close-up. beautiful? All right. A golden triangle. Oh, isn't that nice? Beautiful. Yeah. A golden triangle. Hold right it's there. Holding Don't it to the right camera. Yes, backwards. I think you are. That's right. You have to turn it oh. oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're quite well. Thank you so we much. We hope Palm Springs appreciates you as much as Pittsburgh. Thank yeah, they, oh, they Palm don't. Springs, listen. If you they don't. You're going to like it there. Uh, and the they last are hurricane. Thank you. <laughs> was not bad. I was, I mean, it, I was there, I know, Don, yeah. for and, and the alligators are now so plentiful that they're tame. You'll have no problem with the alligators. Put them on a leash. And, and I'm sure that the radioactive sand, they've got that under control, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> don't let him frighten you, my dear. How, hey. do you, how, do you say, how do you say goodbye to oh, You never say uh, goodbye. You only say so long. Where you were born, where you were raised, where you grew up with the perfect family, the mother, the father, roots. the brother, the sister, who still live pick. within three blocks of each other. Exactly. That's not gone. Oh, honey, that's not gone. You just carry uh, that how with do you, you say goodbye to the place where 
two beautiful little girls were born, yes. and you watched them grow into yes. lovely young lovely ladies, ladies, where you uh, just cultivated hundreds of colleagues and thousands of friends who have enriched your life. Uh, you know, ours is a business of scripts. It's a business of uh, editing words and mm -hmm. tight formats. And this morning, there is no script. There's there's no format. That's good. And Shouldn't be. Don, as you say, there, there's no goodbye. I'm a Pittsburgher. Sure. I'm going to wear this proudly because I'll always be a Pittsburgher. I'm just going to live somewhere else for a while. You know what you're doing, Eleanor? You, you're now, you know, this hasn't happened to you before, but you're now a missionary. You're yeah, going down message. there to Palm Springs to give it, those... Well, do you mind if I... Palm. I really hate to, to correct you, but it is Palm Beach. Beach. Palm Excuse Springs me. is way out west, and I'd never go that far away. <laughs> Turns out the program should have been formatted. You'd have got the name right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We love you. If you don't give her a kiss, I'm gonna. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don not Riggs. Good. Not goodbye, darling. <laughs> Adam Lynch, two of my dearest friends. I needed you both this morning. I needed you. I said a little help from my friends, and I could say goodbye, Pittsburgh. Thank you all. God bless you.